Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'll be doing a tier list for all of the guns in Blocks Fruits. But before that, I've recently hit 30,000 subscribers and I'm doing giveaways in my Discord server, which is linked in the description below. Like, subscribe and join the Discord server if you want to be a part of them. Let's get straight into the video. Alright, so we have all of these guns right here. And there we go, they're sorted like that. So first we're starting off with the Slingshot. The Slingshot has one mediocre explosion move and a pretty decent uh, sticky pellet which can keep enemies close to you so you can farm or something. Like use a move that knocks them away. So I reckon it would be B tier, for farming at least. Flintlock and Refined Flintlock, I'll be doing them at the same time. And while we're at it, also put Refined Slingshot above the regular single above the regular slingshot because it's the same but just more damage. So the flintlock is pretty bad, yeah, it's just got really bad moves and it's pretty slow as well. So I'm just going to have to put them in D as well as the refined flintlock. Next we have the musket and the refined musket. Now these two are also pretty bad but I'll have to put the musket in D and I'll put the refined musket in C tier. Next, we have a Sidium Rifle. Now, a Sidium Rifle is a pretty easy gun to get in the second C. It's a chance drop from a factory raid. And considering how easy it is to get, it's really good. It's got a stun move and another stun move. And the click, even though it's slow, has a long range and it also does damage over time. So it gets rid of the opponent's observation as well. So I put that in S tier. Next, we got the cannon. The cannon has to go in C tier, right below the refined musket. The cannon's just pretty bad. It's just an explosion move and that's about it. Actually, let's move some stuff around. Let's put the cannon here, refined musket here, and then the slingshot down one. There we go. Next, we have the bizarre rifle. The bizarre rifle can be bought with ectoplasm in the ghost ship it is decent for pvp and pretty bad for farming it's decent for pvp because it has a move that auto tracks the enemies so that's like really nice to hit since you have to just aim in their general direction and it can hit them so i'll put that in b tier next we have the bazooka so the bazooka you can get in the first c from one of the enemies in the Sky Islands. I think it's the boss. This one's decent for a first C gun, but at the same time, it doesn't really compare to the S tier ones. So I'll just have to put it in high B tier. And yeah, I'll move the refined slingshot down. Next we have Kabucha. So Kabucha, you can get in the second C for about 1,500 fragments. And the first move is pretty garbage, but the second move is and was one of the best moves out of all of the guns uh, when it, there were only the second C and the first C guns. It can be used to stun and extend combos and stuff like that. It's actually a really good move. I'll have to put it in, oh this is tough, uh, A tier. Next we have the Serpent Bow, which you can get in the third C. It's a chance from getting it when you kill the Empress boss. This has one AoE move that when it explodes, it also automatically tracks anyone within 80 studs distance. And another move that if it hits the opponent, it stops them from being able to dash or use their moves or anything like that. It's really good like that with a stun and everything. So I'd have to put it in... This one's tough. Oh, high A tier. There we go. Serpent Bow right there. Now next is the Soul Guitar. The Soul Guitar is the only mythic gun in the game. You can get it from the third C after doing a little uh, challenge or oh, several challenges actually. And then you have to get all these parts for it and then you have to buy it with fragments on top of that. So it's pretty expensive, but I can tell why they made it so expensive because it's really good. The first move is basically the stun move of Kabucha, but extremely long range. Even though you can dodge it, it's way faster and hits more often than the Kabucha move, which is amazing. And then the second move is a giant AOE stun, so area of effect around you, 
that stuns the opponents, brings them slightly up into the air, and anyone that it hits, it heals you a little bit as well. So that's awesome, and the start to many, many combos in the game. So this is the best gun in the game so far, so we'll have to put it at the top of S tier. If you enjoyed or found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified when I make a new video. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time.